Hey guys, it's Gigi. Welcome back to my channel. I am currently waiting on my friends to get ready because we are going out for my best friend's birthday party tonight. I asked you guys on my Instagram stories what assumptions you have of me. And I know this was a trend, like, I'm gonna say like four or five years ago. Oh, Jesus. The red lipstick, it's a dangerous game, my love. I bite my thumb at you, Mercutio. We all know social media is like totally fake and everyone puts out what they just want the world to see, but it's like, what do people really think of me? Because I feel like I'm pretty real, for the most part. <laughs> Well, we'll see. I was coming home from the gym and I literally looked so ugly. So I posted a photo from Fashion Week after I was done walking one of the shows and I was topless in it and I just thought that it was very much like, what are your assumptions about me? Let me know. I'm bearing my soul to you because my boobs are basically out and a lot of people had stuff to say about that. So first one I'm seeing right now, you love to be naked. Uh, true. I think everyone deserves to love to be naked. Not around everyone, but I love being naked. Off camera, I had sweatpants on and I said, I think I'm gonna be a little bit hot for this YouTube video. So I'm gonna put my little Aritzia shorts on, but I'm going to not wear underwear. I'm gonna free ball it. That's basically naked to me. Yeah, jaded you. I do love to be naked. What? <laughs> I also posted this on Snapchat, so we're gonna see what goes on over on that app because like I barely use her. Okay, so the first one is that you are super kind and generous to your loved ones. That's a really nice starting assumption. I love material things. Like I'm obsessed with like nice bags and nice shoes and like, getting my nails done and you know, obviously like having like hair extensions for days and having my makeup done and having a nice outfit, but in actuality, and I know it might be very hard for people to believe, I would literally give you the top off of my back. I know a lot of people are like, that's my thing. That's my possession. You can't touch my thing because it's it, it's mine. <laughs> Did you just see that? I rewatched Bly Manor recently and I thought that there was a ghost coming up on me right now. I'm the haunting of Hill House, Bly Manor. I'm just on edge. I really do feel like if you just are a good person and you just manifest good things, abundance will come to you. I always want to share my abundance. Like, yeah, take the bag. Would you like me to do your hair for you? Like, I, I don't care. I don't know what it is, but because as a Taurus, I think that we're pretty selfish people. So I don't know where that comes from. Maybe my mom. And you know what? When people don't reciprocate the generosity, I don't get offended because I know not everyone's like that. So it's like, all right, well that sucks. You should be because it feels really good. Especially around Christmas and stuff. I love getting a gift. Don't get me wrong. Like opening something and being like, oh my God. Even though half the time I don't even know what the fuck to do with my face. Being like, wow, oh my God, that's a me? How'd you know? Pressure, stress, anxiety. I love just giving somebody something that they want and I know that they want and it's just more fulfilling to me. I assume you're a classy lady in the streets but a freak in the sheets. Yes. <coughs> Oh my god, do I have the black lung? Ever since you stopped doing your podcast, Queerified, you don't listen to podcasts. This is like the craziest assumption of my life. Anybody who knows me in real life knows that like all I do is listen to podcasts. I will listen to a podcast in the morning while I make coffee and then I'm like about to do my shower and it's like depending on the shower routine like is it giving hair wash is it giving scrub is it giving shave I time out the shower and before I go in the shower I will rewind the amount of minutes that I think that I need to open up the shower when I'm done and continue along the podcast path because I don't want to re-listen but I don't want to she's falling asleep yes I'll do that too I'll literally put in a fucking ear pod and I'll lay on my one side and then by the time I know it I'm like oh my god like two and a half hours has passed I was falling asleep some of my favorite ones right now I love out and about with Joey Camasta and Pat call her daddy obviously I love Whitney Cummings I'm obsessed with just Trish I'm so happy to see her so happy now with Moses and Malibu and just a family and like that's what I'm working towards and also I know there was a bunch of shit going on with like Colleen or Colleen how do you even say her name, Miranda Sings Colleen, and she just continued on and did just Trish, which I thought was fucking awesome and so fucking Trisha Paytas. So one of my favorite podcasts for sure. I also am obsessed with the Cancelled podcast. Tana and I have known each other for so long, but I actually had a little run-in with Brooke. I was out in WeHo and I saw her on the street and she was like, I love you. I just want you to know I love you. And I was like, I fucking love you. And I just think that she is so pretty and polished and graceful and polite. I just think that that is like the perfect duo. That's just a few. I also have like a couple other nerdy ones. I love Life is Short with Justin Long, the actor and his brother. Huh? Cyrus. 
Oh, and Tish. Yes, sorry we're stoned with Tish and Brandy Cyrus. Emma Chamberlain, obviously. I love Anna Faris's. I love Girls Next Level with Holly and Bridget. I mean, the list literally goes on and on. There's a bunch of drag queen ones I like. I am obsessed with podcasts, so no. <laughs> that assumption is completely wrong. Hmm, next one. You're a top. So with the amount of times that come out as different sexual orientations and my gender, do you think I'd be limited to one thing? I'll just leave it there. Dumbass. Ooh, this is a good one. You completely regret your transition, but you won't admit it because you need to keep pushing the narrative that you didn't fuck up your life and your body because of your delusion. It's funny that that person even just said that because I was just talking to my girlfriend about this. She was telling me about a friend that she has that has been outwardly completely loud and vocal about her transition. Like almost like, I'm gonna say like a decade vibes. And then all of a sudden just decided to detransition. I think that that is such a triggering thing for so many people. I mean, I definitely do not feel that way. That assumption is completely false. If I wanted to go back to being male, I absolutely could, but that is not something that I want or not something that I ever think about in my whole life. As you guys know, I'm on my fertility journey and I'm like off hormones for two years now, so I can't wait to go back on hormones. It's actually the complete opposite of that assumption. Next one is quite interesting because it's been something I've been seeing around social media. So somebody goes, you shame people for getting divorces because you've been happily married and so many other people are getting divorced right now. So I don't know if it's like a summer, fall, winter, spring, whatever thing, but I know there's like hot summer flings, right? Honestly, I've not been in like that many relationships to know and right now I'm married, obviously, but I thought it was supposed to be you have to shack up for winter winter to like cuddle with because it's going to be really cold and like you're not going to be going out as much. Personally speaking, my parents never separated. My mom got sick and she passed away. I think they would have still been together today, but I had a lot of friends around me that had parents who had divorced and it shapes you, like it changes you. I'm 31 years old. I am married happily. We're on the road to have kids and all this stuff. Our life is really just beginning, but I feel feel like I respect divorce. I think that the media can really twist and turn things and make it seem nastier than it is. But if you aren't happy with somebody, like you should change that. I've always stood for like, do what you want, make yourself happy. If you're in a relationship where you feel like you are unhappy and the other person is too, then like, of course, separate. I think it just has this like very negative, almost derogatory sentiment behind the word. No, I'm not against divorce. If you need to divorce your hubby or, or wifey, go for it, bitch go for it. Okay, so next up, a little lighthearted. Once you set your mind on a goal, there is nothing that will stop you from achieving it. This really reaches out to my Taurus energy. I am so stubborn and hard-headed that even if I don't achieve it right away. If I'm passionate enough about it, I will continue strong. I will be relentless, annoying. I remember my dad always used to say, I actually wanna know if you guys heard this too from your parents, but my dad would always tell me this actually, like on road trips, I would always wanna be the center of attention. And I always chalked it up to being the middle child. I was like, I wanna be the loudest. This is how I feel comfortable. But he always used to say, you just talk because you like the sound of your own voice. <laughs> I think that I still do like the sound of my own voice. So, Dad, you weren't wrong. Ooh, somebody says you have a huge penis. Wow, all right, well, clearly you don't know because I have a micro dick. <laughs> Just kidding, it is huge. <laughs> oh, I assume it hurt when you fell from heaven. That's so cute, I love it. Oh, I hate, 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 hate this one. You're anorexic. Oh no, 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 no. I really truly have been on such a health kick. I work out every single day, if not twice a day, and I am very, very in tune with my body. You can literally go back a couple years. I definitely was very, very thin, but I didn't really acknowledge it. I think I've just become more health conscious over the years. Like I've had to create sperm over years after killing all of it. I've just been given 
so much advice on how to change what I've done in the past for my future, on how to like reverse the harsh things that I've done to my body for the positive things that I've wanted for my future. I'm just really health conscious now. Before I used to be just really reckless. I never worked out. I just used to lay all day. I never thought about like, when am I gonna move my body? When am I gonna get this sweat in? When am I gonna eat greens? Just anything like that. And I know it might seem very LA to be talking like that, but it's true and it really does help. Fast forward the video if you're uncomfortable talking about poop, but if you start your day with a celery juice, I do one from Air One. It's celery, lemon, ginger. I feel like there's a pepper in there. Anyways, I do that and then there's a ginger shot on the side that I do. So I'll chug a little bit of green juice, which is like so yummy, so delicious. And then I'll chug the ginger shot in the morning like an alcoholic shot because it burns and it's like not cute, but it really just like breaks down everything. It makes you feel really good like an hour later. And then I'll finish the green juice, make a coffee, and then bitch, you're a regular degular, okay? Let's move on. Someone else said you have a big dick. Do I give off big dick energy? Maybe you guys are not wrong, because she's packing. Um, when are you gonna be done? I have to shower. <laughs> In like 15 minutes. Okay, rapid fire time. This is ridiculous. Your boobs are fake. Hey, welcome to my channel. Gigi Gorgeous, nice to meet you. Transgender woman, had three boob jobs. <laughs> You have a lot of appointments in your upkeep to keep the look up. <laughs> You're not wrong. That assumption might be absolutely correct. <laughs> I, I just got Botox for the first time in like, I don't know, I think like over six months and I was noticing like a lot of like movement around my hairline. Cause I feel like when I got my FFS, they pulled my forehead back and pulled my hairline down. So most people get like wrinkles when they do this, like right here. But mine now sit up here. So when he's like, make a surprised face, it's like wrinkles near my hair. Just had that done, so it hasn't kicked in yet, but I like, can't fucking wait because I love nothing more than a Botox moment. Also this chair, can you stop? Stay, stay. Ooh, this one's really interesting. You're actually straight because you're married to a woman and you are a man. Okay, so I think that this one actually deserves a call out username. This is la.melyg. It's the most ridiculous shit that I've heard. I think that if you have two brain cells in your skull, which I'm extremely sorry that you don't, you would know that what you wrote is because you're projecting on me and you're probably very, very insecure with your gender or where you're at with your orientation or whatever. I wish you luck. I wish you well. And um, also, go to hell. Someone goes, oh my god, you're never constipated because you are the shit. <laughs> yes! Oh my god, I want that tattooed across my forehead immediately. Okay, I have 1100 responses to my Snapchat. So this is gonna be like very rapid fire, but let me take a sip of water first. My mouth is dry. That's what you're taking? Yeah. Fish oil. Show that they can't see. Oh. Fish oil. Well, I don't want it to fall. But look. Fish oils, something, omega, prenatals, birth control to switch up my shit to get on track for next week. And what are you washing it down with? Topo Chico? Apple juice. Or Corona. <laughs> to be fair, he like legitimately didn't drink for like a month. More. Shy, but life of the party. Um, I don't know. I feel like if anything, I'm not, I don't think shy is the word to explain me. I think that if anything, I'm like, I get insecure. I don't want to like go hang out. I don't want to like go talk because I'm like insecure, but I'm never really like shy. Like I can always like turn it on. So that's a false assumption, yeah, you're but life wrong. of the party. <laughs> Life of the party is true. Oh, John Long said, goddess, love you, John. You're so sweet. Oh, Annie said, you're gonna be on Just Trish podcast. That would be a dream. I was just talking about that. That's so weird you say that. Somebody said, you need a second wife or a dog. I can bark. Um, should I call the authority? <laughs> 
What's going on with all of that? You're the only YouTuber that will never have a scandal like the rest of the OGs. So I have had my share of things that I've said and done wrong. I always try to keep out of the drama. That's always been like my MO. Stick with just people that I fuck with, that I'm actually friends with. I'm not trying to like collab just to get like clout or anything like that, which I totally respect, but that's just not my vibe. I really do just try to speak from my own life's personal experience experience and like what I know I never want to like overstep or I'm like the kind of person that I never want to like insult anyone I never want anyone to feel bad I'm like the least confrontational person of life I may sit in front of this camera and scream at it but I never want anyone to like actually feel bad somebody had the audacity to ask do I like my hair pulled okay I'm gonna answer this for me, but I'm in future reference. I'm gonna answer this for everybody with longer hair. Uh, no. Don't pull my hair, don't touch my hair. If I have a wig on, don't look at my hair. Never touch, never graze. Uh, I mean, the pulling is out of control. I think they're talking about sex. sex. No. <laughs> No. No. It's like a sex question. You're like out in the streets. Take a picture only. Don't touch it. I spent time on my hair. This is why it looks like this. Don't touch it. I know a lot of people who are really sensitive about their outfits even being touched. I don't care. Like throw me around. We'll have fun. We'll tumble. But like if I have this out when we see each other, do not be touching my hair. The only reason why the hair should be brought up is if you're giving me a brush to gracefully brush out a knot in the back. But that wasn't the question. What was the question? Do you like your hair pulled? Like when you're having sex, do you like your hair to be like pulled? Some people like that. No. No, okay. No. <laughs> no. You taking it all the way to, the only reason you should be touching my hair is with a brush. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I assume you're on a really strict work regime. That body looks like hard work. Bitch, if you've been keeping up with my Instagram stories and Instagram posts, if you guys do honestly want to know a full workout fitness routine, like what I do, I would love to give that to you because my trainer would 100% break everything down for you. I literally just do what he says. I understand a little bit of the logistics, but I think it's mostly about like moving your body. I always thought that like the curvier look was cuter for me. Like you guys know, if you've read my book with Got Mick, the tea guy, you know that I have gotten illegal ass shots of silicone and I thought that that was like the look. I think that there's a lot of pressure within especially the trans community. I mean ultimately the world to have that hourglass figure and to have unrealistic proportions from hips, ass, waist, shoulders, arms, legs, thighs, ankles, fucking everything. And I think it's bullshit. I was really early on in my transition when I went into that and I was like I'm I'm gonna get ass shots. It was something that I was extremely scared to share because I know it kills a lot of girls. I was told, of course, 100% silicone, it's from the hospital, don't worry about it, but like, was it? Was that 100% like legal grade or are you mixing it with something? Just really, really scary. So I talk about it a lot in the book, but a lot of it didn't stay within me, which I'm very happy that I had the wherewithal to like afterwards, like kind of like squeeze that shit out and be like, mm -mm. Now I feel stronger and I feel more powerful than ever because I know my true actual body is building muscle. And I know my true actual body is being healthier. Why am I thinking about Trixie Mattel right Right now she's like a marathon runner basically and I just know that she runs like she's like oh I run five miles this morning and I'm like so did I bitch I think some people they just get like the athletic bug and for me it worked because if you watched my fertility journey videos my last video in particular you would know that I went from zero swimming sperm absolutely zero to millions because I changed my lifestyle so I just think moving the body is really important and yeah bitch I work out. That's an accurate assumption. Fuck yeah. Okay, two hilarious ones. Somebody goes, why would you care though? Because I asked people what their assumptions were of me. Yeah. Someone goes, why would you care though? That's amazing. It's literally hilarious. <laughs> to make a YouTube video, <laughs> you fucking idiot. Cash Money 2013 says gold digger. Well, judging by your name, you might be jealous. Get well soon. 
Oh my god, Snapchat's wild! Snapchat's wild. Somebody goes, I assume you wouldn't mind if I walked up behind and cupped your breast while kissing you passionately. I could be wrong, but I'm also assuming you're so worth it. With a weird ass smiley face. It's time to fight. No, <laughs> no. And I'll tell you, no matter who I am with would beat you up, I'm telling you that, you'd get your ass beat. And if I was alone, oh god, look. Probably get your ass beat worse. <laughs> Look, this would be in your eye. And I'm not kidding. I have no shame. None whatsoever. I mean, I'm seeing so many people that are saying that I have a huge penis. People are like, that you're huge down below, that you're packing heat. Big dick. Like, why now? I've always had that. <laughs> I taste like a warm sugar cookie. Snapchat is weird. That's what I got Snapchat's off Snapchat. Weird. <laughs> I actually don't know who you are, so I have none. But going off your height, I assume you can dunk. You have implants. Guys, <laughs> we're gonna need to circle back, okay? So I think maybe we're done with this video. I loved doing this. I thought it was so much fun. I want crazier questions. I just got word that I have to leave in 15 minutes and I have no idea what I'm gonna wear, but thank God my hair and makeup is done. Let me know if you guys like this style of video. I feel like this is the new glorified Q&A. It's basically people projecting their insecurities onto you or what they really wanna say to you. Which I can take. I can take it the all next, day long. The next one you should just say like hurl your like gnarliest abuse. Go yeah, like it. hit me where it hurts. Yeah. Well, where that one I'm gonna have to start before I start back on estrogen. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you want to see in the next one. And until I see you guys next time, stay gorgeous.